today on the net. The web reacts to the European Union bailout plan for banks. In the US, the third and last Obama-McCain presidential debate has mobilized the web. And the day's pick of the best. Markets have picked up again following the mobilization in Europe. Web users react to the coordination of the bailout plans from the countries of the European Union. This Englishman is pleased about what he sees as a fundamental step. He says it's a historical moment as taxpayers now own part of the country's banks. Others, like this Irishman, are pessimistic. Although he supports his government's initiative, he is sad that his children are forced to pay for a system he considers immoral. And visions of panic are multiplying online. This blogger fears major geopolitical turnaround. Financial crises favor nationalism and battles for control of resources. Many videos announcing the end of the world, or at least the end of the international monetary system, are circulating on video exchange sites. On the eve of the last debate of the American presidential campaign, John McCain's attacks against his opponent are criticized on the web. This blogger is saddened by a vicious campaign which had spread confusion within the heart of the Republican electoral. This American woman is worried about the aggressiveness of John McCain's supporters who call Obama a traitor, terrorist or liar. She does not think McCain can tone down this aggressiveness. Yet several bloggers like this one say that it's not over yet. He says that with three weeks left before voting, McCain can still turn it around. So the web is greatly looking forward to Wednesday's debate. As election day draws nearer, video parodies of the Obama-McCain confrontation are multiplying. This film from the site Slate looks at these last few weeks of campaign. The nomination of running mates, the Palin effect, the economic crisis. The strong points of the race for presidency are summed up in three minutes. Here is a video which is currently creating a buzz online. We see the Russian Prime Minister, Vladimir Putin, in judo training. For his 56th birthday next week, a DVD called Learn Judo with Vladimir Putin has been put on sale. The contents of this video will not come as a surprise as the ex-president of Russia is a sixth dan in judo. The French NGO Action Innocence is launching a new online prevention campaign against the dangers of internet for children. This campaign is above all designed to help parents realize the problems their children could encounter on the web. Around 15 educational videos presented by a variety of well-known people are available on the NGO's website.